Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. If you are a returning friend, thank you so much for joining me for this special um, video today. And if you're coming from um, some of the other channels that are also doing the breast cancer collab, I welcome you to my channel. I'm Linda, and this is my um, Thrifty Life. Today we're here um, in this collab to talk about breast cancer awareness. Um, Tony from Creative Chica Halls is our host, and we thank you so much, Tony, for putting this together. So, today I want to talk about a little bit about, um, you know, breast cancer, how it's touched so many of our lives. I've shared before on my channel that I have an aunt that um, had breast cancer many, many years ago. She has since passed away, not from breast cancer. But the treatment she received from the breast cancer, which was a radical mastectomy, which was common in that day, changed her life forever. Um, it took muscles and, and um, things from her that, you know, under the arm and the muscles of the chest that, you know, she just never was the same. She didn't have the same strength that she had before. And it just, it changed her life. We're lucky that the breast cancer never came back. You know, they got it all, and that was good. But, um, you know, they have come a long way with treatment since then. I've also last lost two friends to breast cancer. Um, one was um, um, a friend, Becky, who um, was a mother of two girls, and they were in gymnastics with my daughter, Sarah, at the same time. And Becky and I became very good friends. She was a high school teacher. Uh, Sarah said one of the best teachers she'd ever had. And um, just a brilliant, smart woman, you know, the kind of person you meet and you say, ooh, I want to be her when I grow up. And uh, um, she died from breast cancer after a long fight. And then another friend of mine, um, her daughter, Angie, um, died of breast cancer and left behind teenage children. She died quite young of it. So it's a really um, serious thing. It's touched most people in some way or other. And so for me, breast cancer awareness is just get your mammograms. Early detection is key. And just be aware of your body and the signs that your body is saying. And support research. I think that that, you know, I support research and medical um, programs that provide mammograms and other services for women that, um, you know, don't have the funds, don't have insurance to get that. So, <clears throat> I thank you for showing up today, and um, I, I don't have a lot of um, pink ribbon items that I purchase, but I did make my little cat ears because, you know, I have to have my cat ears and they had to have their little pink ribbon on them. But I was looking in my jewelry box and I came across all of these little pink ribbon pins and I was like, wow, I didn't know I had all those. So I guess over the years that I've picked them up here and there or been given them at different events, and um, I just stuck them in my little jewelry box. And so when I found them, I thought that was really interesting to see that I had all these different pink ribbon um, little tack pins. I also found in my jewelry box this Canadian quarter. Um, October of 2006, I was in Canada, in Montreal, with my daughter Ashley. And um, this is part of... Uh, the change I got from something I purchased. So, yeah, a Canadian quarter. But really, look, it has this little breast cancer sticker on it. And so I've saved it all these years. I just thought, you know, that was a really cool thing. Now, I don't know if if Canada did that. It kind of looks like it did. Or, you know, if they minted a special coin for breast cancer. But I was very impressed. So I've kept that. Um, something else that I purchased many years ago, 2008, was um, <clears throat> a carry, carry on the cause, and it was this lunch bag, and it was from Lean Cuisine, and if you um, purchased a few of their specially marked products with the, 
the packaging and sent in some of the little packaging. You could purchase this at a really reduced price. And of course, I picked the most hot pink one I could find. <laughs> so, but I've loved this bag and I've used it a lot. So that, you know, that was fun. Um, I've had some pink uh, ribbon t-shirts before, but um, I don't currently have one that fits me, so I have passed them on. So, um, I have purchased um, some pink ribbon products at Dollar Tree. These, these little ribbon stickers are just absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure you'll see a bunch of them today. And that's what I use to put on my little cat ears. I've also found um, these magnets, and um, in fact, this one is, and then pink is the new black, and these were a dollar each, and they are great. They will go on your car, or your refrigerator, or at work, if you have a metal uh, file cabinet. They're just a great way to show your support for breast cancer. So I've purchased those, and Dollar Tree has this great pack of pins. As you can see, I've already opened it and, and started using them because they are great. They have the little pink ribbon right there. And uh, I just thought that was great, eight pins for a dollar. And um, the last thing I've bought from them is this is this tack pen. And it's big compared to, <laughs> to the ones I have. But um, I thought I would add it to my collection. So, um, I encourage everybody to, you know, get your annual mammograms, do breast self-examinations, if you're, you know, especially if you're young and aren't getting mammograms. And if it runs in your family, be sure you talk to your doctor about that. So, I want to do um, a giveaway as part of um, this breast cancer awareness. And... How I'd like to do it is all of you, I would like you to nominate someone that is either currently fighting breast cancer or has fought breast cancer and, um, you know, th the, the struggle, you know, that they've been through. I'd like to send them a little care package. So to keep the privacy of anyone you might nominate, I would like you to um, email me at Linda's Thrifty Life at gmail.com and just give me their name. You can just give me their first name and a little bit of information about them. And then on, on this video down below, I'd like you to put hashtag pink ribbon and that way I know that you want to be entered into the care package giveaway and that um, we will we will figure out someone that, that you wanted to give this care package to. And I can either send it to you and you can give it to them if they're a friend of yours, or I can send it to them directly with their permission. So, what's in this care package, you ask? Well, of course, it's the pink ribbon stickers, a tack pen, some of these wonderful little pink ribbon pins. Also, this little flashlight. These things are fabulous. They're very bright and they, they're magnetic and this one is in rose gold. Some Dove in the pink um, packaging, the beauty cream. This is so rich and softening. The Q-Tex Moisture Rich Foot Cream and also the hand and cuticle cream. An under eye massager, oh yeah, those feel so good. <laughs> um, this little pink hair bow um, hair tie, or you can use it as a little bracelet or anything you want, it's just really, really cute. Um, this is also from the Dollar Tree, and it is a little pink pom-pom with a pink ribbon, and it's, um, uh, you can either use it just to hang on your backpack or your purse to support breast cancer, or you can use it to put some keys in. It's just got this little clip, so we're going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Sorry. Change of weather. 
and so my allergies have said, oh, let's bloom again. So sorry. <clears throat> Some washi tape in all sorts of pinks, and um, I just, pinks and golds, and I just thought that would be really cute. These two fun magnets. They don't have anything to do with breast cancer, but they do have a lot of pink on them, and I just think they're fun. And I also will be giving one of the car magnets. And that's pretty much it. And this little pink kitty cat bag because, you know, I am the kitty cat ear lady and, and I just, you know, it's my signature. Let's put it that way. I'm sure there will be more stuff um, by the end of the week. So, um, I'm going to leave all the information below. The only thing is that you need to be 18 years of age or older, and so does the person you nominate to receive this gift. They need to be in the continental United States. You do not have to be a subscriber of my channel, but it would be nice, but you don't have to. This is, this is for breast cancer awareness. And, um... And you just have to remember to put hashtag pink ribbon in your comments and then email me the name and some information about the person you're nominating. I um, would like to possibly make them a pocket letter um, with words of hope and um, about, you know, all pinks. So, um, you know, if you let me know a little bit about them, about their struggle, either they are currently going through it or they have conquered the breast cancer or they're just new in remission whatever stage they're in I just like to know a little bit about them and we'll do it by email and that way it keeps um, that information uh, private between you and I and not you know out there in the public so Tony I want to thank you again for doing this collab with uh, uh, all of us and and I want to thank all of you for watching and and, um, and, and sharing in uh, breast cancer awareness and wear your pink. And thank you so much and I will talk to you soon. Oh, I forgot to tell you when it will end. Um, you have until Friday, the end of Friday, um, whatever day. Today is the 8th, so that would be Friday the 11th. You have until the end of the day, Friday the 11th, and I will... Um, I will choose someone over the weekend and let you know. So thank you again. See you soon. Bye.